everybody. I'm back and today we are going to paint geraniums and I wanted to show you how I went about doing that. Now this is a, a sketch I made. This is how I started and if you want this you can email me if you don't already. I'm gonna I'll send it to you. Um, and I'll send you this one and the violet one and um, the other pansy one. Because what it is, we're doing a set of mugs. And um, this is a request from one of my a student. And um, I had a couple requests for geraniums uh, for China painting. So first of all, if you're going to do this on your mug, you want to um, have your sketch like this. And then I use the graphite paper. I just buy it, but you can make your own. And I'll show you. I'll talk about how to make your own. And all you do is if you, you get a, a pencil and um, you sketch the one part of it, the one side. Like, for example, let's see if you can see this. Yeah, see if you do this. Now you do that to the area. So that's graphite right there. And then that area, that side is what's going to go facing down on your design. So it would be like this, right, like this. So the darker paper, the darker side, is what's gonna be going underneath, the waxy side. Then you tape it, and you would come in here with your design on top of it, like that. And let's say you have, this is um, just tape. You would tape it like this on more than one side so that it would stay put, okay? So that's how you do it. And then you just trace the lines. That is if you have a particular design in mind, like what this is, um, if, you, if you're not just freehanding it. So after you do your graphite, you're gonna end up with something like this. And that's what we're gonna work on today. I'm gonna show you how I got from that step to this here. So this is, um, I'm doing a set. And the other one I did, just to show you, for those of you who haven't seen it, this is the um, violets. I gave, I, there's a lesson for the violets. So, and now we're doing this. All right, so now let's get started. And if you have any questions, just feel free to write, send them to me on your comments or uh, an email. All right, so let's see if I, I want to keep checking that I'm in the right range so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. And so um, I'm going to use the colors that we're using is the green, um, antique green and yellow green, chartreuse, and uh, uh, a pompadour which is like a, a, think of it as a cadmium um, red or um, vermilion red, something like that. So, all right, so let me start with the, the petals. I'm going to load my pompadour. The consistency of the paint, if you can tell, it's not too soupy. It's like a paste. And some people think, think what do you mean like a paste? The only thing that I can think of would be the consistency of toothpaste. All right, so. I'm going to start from the top down. So 
So it's long, long sweeping strokes. That's what I'm doing. It's it's um kind of a big brush for this, so I'm using just a corner. But the other alternative, there's more than one ways to do things. The other one would be to use just the, the right size, which would be a smaller, um, a smaller size brush. And I think I have just the right one here. This is also a square shader, and it's um, a number f size four. I'm gonna try to get as much done. Maybe this will just be a two part. Now this is a, um, a porcelain trivet. It's used as like a hot plate. Now when the, this goes in the kiln and it gets fired, all those red, that red, uh, I mean the graphite markings will disappear. Now I'm going kind of a little bit heavy with the pompadour because the reds have a tendency to, to go down or fade a little bit in the kiln. Some colors like the rubies and fuchsias, they go, they get brighter, deeper, but um, not with this, not with the warm reds. Now this is the, the whole, br uh, the smaller brush. So see, I'm able to use the whole brush. When I was using the larger one, you, could, you can still do it, but then I was just using the corner of it. Now I load my brush at the same time. You see, I don't just take a chunk of paint. I kind of um, smooth it out so that it goes into my brush, kind of a conditioning it at the same time. Now, I, I'm trying to remember one of the mistakes that um, happens frequently for beginners is that they paint with, it's, they keep putting the brush, dipping it into the media, the oil, whichever kind you're using, more than needed. 
So what happens with, when you do that, when you overdo that, is uh, um, you end up with a very oily, soupy paint. And then you lose control. So it kind of goes all over the place and you just, so something to keep in mind. Also, if you notice when I'm painting this, I don't stop, I try not to stop in the middle of the petal. I try to go all the way to the, to the center, like this. So that you end up with a smooth, stroke all right so I think we're done for that with that now I'm gonna go down here and do this little one that's hiding it's a partial one that's hiding and it's peeking out now in China painting the way it works is that we fire usually more than once, which we give it one paint and then we fire it in the kiln, it gets red hot. And what happens is the porcelain softens, the glassy part that you see that's shiny, it gets so hot and so soft that it uh, lets the pigment sink, the mineral pigments, sink into the glaze. So then it becomes part of the wear. That is why some of those antiques, you can see, and they look as good as new as when they were painted. Okay, so right now I am going to go, since I have the color, I'm going to go ahead and just do the little buds right here. Now this, I'm just doing it because I happen to have the right color, but I didn't have to do it right now. I could wait and do the green little buds first and then do this, but it's not um, wrong to do it first. You have that choice. All right, so there's that. Now I'm going to do the leaves. I'm going to start off with the yellow green, the chart or chartreuse, whatever you want to call it, same thing. And I'm going to go from the outside in like this. Put a little bit of a So I'm going from the outer edges to the center. If it gets a little draggy, a little too dry, just dip in your brush like I just did into the media and then just Although I just did that, it still feels not too soupy, so that's it's good. It's just good enough for me to be able to manipulate the paint and just notice I am moving the piece so that it benefits me in the position so that it's easy for me to handle. All right, so now I'm gonna come in here. Now this other petal or leaf, because it's under, it's partially showing, it's underneath this main one. So that's gonna be darker right there where it meets. Now at this point, 
it's not as important for you to get it darker because if you can that's fine if not it's no big deal because remember you're gonna have a chance to come back on the next fire and do your shading so if you just feel comfortable just doing it the same value that's good that that'll work All right, so that is the first go or the first layer. Now I'm, I'd switch to a round brush like this and I'm gonna dip it into the green, pull back and roll as I pull so that I end up with a point. So this is what I'm going to use to make my little branches. And it's like a bunch of little rosebuds. I'm going to... Um, this will be the first, this video is going to be the first layer. And then make sure you come back and see how I, I did the, add more shading on the second. Now this is going to be a two part video, but I would say the average amount of firings for a china painting, it's three times. That's about the average. It all depends on oh, what, how, what you're doing. But uh, I would say three times is mostly. Remember in this fire, we call it the different first fire, second fire, third fire. So this would be the first fire. To leave your highlights, whatever highlights you're gonna want, because um, you're not gonna, you don't want to come back on your next one and think, oh, I wish there was no paint there. I wish that I had left that lighter so I could paint it. So you're safer if you go lighter. Now there's almost no limit to how many times you can fire. It all depends on your it all depends on your project. Okay, so now I'm coming back here. Okay. 
So we have complementary colors here. It's across the wheel, like um, red across your color wheel. So it's red and um, green, which reminds me, I think this is almost the end of October. So I might be doing a poinsettia for the holidays. This is, that, that might be a good thing. <clears throat> okay, so now the other thing I think I'm gonna do is Just delineate the buds. There's this little, um, it's called a Kemper tool, and which is this right here. It's just a little rubber edge. Sometimes it comes in handy to um, sharpen the edges, clean them up. All right, I think that's gonna be it for now, for this first layer, okay? Um, we're gonna do the veins on the, next, on the next one and the markings, and it's all gonna come together for us. And we're gonna do the shading. Um, but before I stop, I am going to come in here, take the excess paint off my brush, and I am going to make sure that this little floret here, which is a prima donna, is going to show up more. So I'm gonna to go to the edge and just make sure See, my brush is right now clean. It's oiled, but I took the excess oil off so that I can come in here and give it some little, make it stand out from the back is what I'm doing. Like see, this petal here is part of this one. So now I'm gonna make sure that I lighten that To say, yeah, you belong. It was a little too dark. It was getting confusing. It started to look like it was part of the back. Like the back florette, the, the background. But now it's not. Now it's like, okay, this here is the forward. It's the forward one. It's uh, in China painting, we have a name for that. It's called the prima donna. It's like in the opera, the main lady, the attention getter. So you wanna make sure, see if I don't have it light enough on this fire, I won't be able to get it on the next fire. So this little flower needs to stand out right now. And now when I come back on the next fire, everything behind it, I'm gonna darken a little bit more to make it stand, to make her stand out even more so. Also, sometimes in the very center, there's a little bit of like a little seeds or something so I'm gonna come in here and give it a, a little few little dots in there like this. And then some in here, see? Now here, I'm gonna separate this too. Okay, I think that's it. That's a, the first fire for this um, Geranium, 
trivet. Okay, well, I want to thank you for joining me, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.